Ready? I mean, I'm technically streaming from Windows right now. I think it's great, right? Seems good. It's my words per minute. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played Type Racer. It's been a while since I've played Type Racer. What is my text editor of choice? On Linux, I use Genie. On Windows, I use Notepad++. Stream Decker, thank you. Some Someday I'll remember to do all these things on my own, but until then, thank you, chat, for reminding me. There's a field of rune in our deck? Man, this is... I didn't vet the mana base, chat. When, when we just download them at the last minute and import them to throw them on at the end of the stream like this, there's zero vetting that's been accomplished. Oh, no. Oh, no. Field of root equal mana fixing. All right, we're going to double bottom those. Maybe I should have top topped because I'm fetching anyways. Stream type racer. <laughs> Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Mana base won't matter. Plague Esper concede. Come on now. We could probably beat Jund in other mid range decks. Joke's on you, opponent. I have good cards in my hand. Hey, Stephen Douglas. Thanks for dropping by while we're live. I'm glad I'm glad you've been catching up with the YouTube stuff. Welcome. You're catching us right towards the tail end here. We're just starting off our last league of the day with this Esper mid-range deck. And I'm going to be quieter for the remainder of the league because Curly Dactyl is uh, the boss and she's upstairs. <laughs> uh... They discarded my Liliana. I guess they've probably already discarded all of the cards they want to keep. Christy with the resub, her monthly donation to Twitch so she can continue using her children as emotes. I just play this mentor here, right? Just like hope for the best. Cross, cross my fingers. You're, you're my one true love, Burgle. You've been subscribed for so long. That's not even true. You don't even have a blood gem, Burgle. The real dark secret is I, I put that Matt emote in there so Matt would stay subscribed to the channel. <laughs> uh, whoa! Holy shit, we're not dead yet, Jep. That's so weird. That's I fully expected to be dead by now. I will have you know, Matthew, that I have a new and improved Twitch contract, so I get $3 a month from your Prime Sub now. It's quite excellent. I, I don't... I sure, I guess. What is What the fuck is in their hand that they would time this like this? I'm so good. I was so excited. I thought we were going to actually get to... Get to win this game, maybe have a chance, and then like they just didn't Gorio's Vengeance us last turn for some reason. <laughs> I'm so confused. I 
No, probably not. I don't really play. I don't really play standard, and arena is only standard and limited, so they don't really support the formats that I like to play. If they supported the formats I'd like to play, I'd probably stream arena because it seems interesting. If I could get cards, I don't know. P playing modern in a CCG sounds super miserable too, though. Just like having... Could, could you imagine trying to build a modern deck by opening booster packs? Like, that sounds truly fucking terrible, right? Yeah, they, that's what they said when the NDA was lifted. Shredder. What? What is going on? I'm so confused right now. Oh, oh, that's ha that's what's happening. Okay, that. Are they? So they're playing like red black Gorios. They're playing like red black Gorios. I, I guess I have surgical extraction. I guess that's a thing I have. I have collective brutality. Full minor mage is probably fine. These paths, these fatal pushes are rancid. Maybe leave one path in. Because the internet wasn't full of net deckers. I actually um, didn't really play magic before the internet. Net deckers predated the caveman. No, I don't think Blessed Alliance is good. I think I'd rather have Path. If you're killing a Emrakul with Blessed Alliance, you're probably losing that game anyways. No, that's not... Yeah, people need to understand, like, if those cards have text, you're still not winning the game. Like, even the Path is arguably not good. I just don't have another card to bring in. Did I leave a Rest in Peace on my board? No, there's no way there's Rest in Peace in here, right? Oh, yeah. Um... I think I just take their Night's Whisper here. Just like take their two for one. Seems reasonable. They're gonna thought sees me and take my Snapcaster Mage. As you will. I mean, Field of Rune is like a slow evolving wilds, right? It's like disruption that isn't like super terrible. Yeah, it's fixing. Burgle understands. Burgle understands it's fixing. It's slow fixing, but it's fixing. That's quite good, right? Let's go top top here. Prone was playing Mardu Nahiri a while back when Nahiri first came out, and he was excited to show me our super secret tech of main deck plus alliance to beat Emrakul. I was like, dude, you're still gonna lose. Just play Crackling Doom. <laughs> Actually, Crackling Doom seems kind of sweet right now. What do you got? We know they have at least Anger of the Gods to take, right? I just take through the Breach, right? Because I could beat Gorios with the Surgical. Yeah, Bur Burkhardt's a sharp dude. Was he still on four fields for the Magic Online Championship? Take your anger. Pass the turn here. Probably gonna activate this field of rune just to fix my mana here because they don't have lands that I really need to destroy. another swamp here um 
I think I'm actually just gonna surgical. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw step surgical there through the breach here because this surgical covers their Gorio's Vengeance. So I just wanna like, basically if I surgical the through the breaches and then I have another surgical to spot check their uh, Gorio's Vengeance, they just can't get me. Let's take a look at their deck too. Like what the fuck is going on here? There's like some kind of mid-range. They're playing Duress? That's interesting. Hammer cools. Only three gristle brains. Alright, sure. They boarded all their Lilianas, that makes sense. Yo, it isn't a real game of Magic the Gathering until someone hard casts a Simeon Spirit Guide, right, chat? That's how that works. The human deck is fine. The, the problem is, like... And this is why Modern is a good format and a popular format, is I don't think the the decks that are even good like humans are that much better than the rest of the format. So if it's not a deck that you really enjoy playing, you probably shouldn't be playing it. Um, uh, Ajax the Great, you're going to want to message me that list in private, either on Twitch or Twitter or on Discord if you're a sub already. Um, I don't look at deck lists while I'm midstream. So the first thing I do after I sign off of a stream is format and publish my YouTube videos. And then I go ahead and, um, and then after I do that, I go ahead and put, uh, read through all my messages everywhere to see who submitted what. So you want to message that to me right now i'll probably get back to you uh i don't know half hour or so after this league is done so later this evening yep interest is a pretty good draw it does actually take a turn off their clock though so we have them on a four turn clock with our spirits here now which is nice all right so if they thought sees me what am i surgicaling out of their deck i think i'm just going to take their knight's whispers That's kind of a tilt. So they're just a discard outlet away from putting a big scary into play. Darth, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, well, yep. I, yep. Mmm. Things that never happen in paper for 100. Things that never happen in paper for 100. That, whew, that, we were talking about stuff and re I mean, we were dead. We were literally dead. I guess, I guess I could have blocked with the spirit, but yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh. They were thought seizing themselves and had Emrakul plus, plus, plus Scorio's Vengeance in their hand. And I just assumed they were thought seizing me, so I surgical in response. And said I would have been able to surgical their, their thing. No, I'm talking about the thing that would never happen in paper, is I would never, I would never play my surgical there, because in paper, they would be very clearly announcing that they're targeting themselves, and I'd never be able to, I'd never be able to miss the fact that they're thought seizing themselves. Well, this is a great hand inquisition. So the thought seize themselves play was fine. It was a good line. The thing I'm saying that could never happen in paper is I would never miss it like that. A Phoenix X30 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for sending your Amazon fun money this way while I'm sitting here kicking the ball. I'm sure they're just like kept one land, got thoughts he's never going to miss a land drop. 
fucking Magic the Gathering. Spells would be sweet, right? Those are kind of spells. Um, you have three Reflector Mages and a Thalia's Lieutenant. Do I want this Thought Seize? I think I don't. I think I just want as many things as possible to play to the board. So I can actually stack my Lingering Souls on top of their Mantis Rider here, which seems okay for us. Uh, there were really small arrows around their face that I could have moused over. The old Esper lands deck, right? They had another Mantis Rider? I guess that's not really a big deal, because next turn I get to double linger plus fatal push something. They just didn't attack. Okay, sure. Your move. I don't know what that, that's not really a deck. It's like some kind of dank meme, I suppose. And we'll go Noble into Thalia's Lieutenant and they have three Reflector Mages left over. Hopefully they smash us with both of these and I get to stack four tokens on one and then Fatal push the other. I, um, I quit that job. I, <laughs> They found someone to replace me. I asked my person that was my boss if they had someone that could replace me, and they did. So I, uh, we're streaming full time now. So this is what we do now. We play card games for people on the internet. It's a good time, really. Rawr. So I'm trading like a Lingering Souls plus a little bit for that, which feels okay, I think. I'll play Liliana. I think I just want to plus this. Like, lets me trade a land for one of their creatures. And then I think one of these is a free attack, right? Well, I guess not really. I want to keep my Liliana high enough to edict them a couple of times. Yeah, I was I was going to wait till the end of the semester, and then I figured I might as well ask if they have someone that wants to take it over, and they had someone that wanted to take it over, so I was like, sure, I'm out. Uh, this semester I was working in a, uh, they have what's called a math lab, which is kind of like a place where students that take hybrid online and in paper courses go to do math work at the community college near where I live. Well, that's a great draw. Just infinite jumps. If we can keep jumping with these spirits, we could maybe, maybe alt this Liliana and take this game over. No, they refer to them as paper courses, online and paper. That, that's not a that's not a hoogalism. That's just how they actually describe things. All right, so yeah, if they if they attacked with this, I was definitely just going to trade two spirits for it. So they have one card left. All right, well let's uh, let's fatal push this one and then eat the last card out of their hand. Okay, maybe we're going to grind through this. Lingering Souls is so good. What's wrong with our society when Twitch slash YouTube is a better... I'd... <laughs> I'd be lying if I said this doesn't pay better than teaching. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if that's funny or depressing. It's one of the two, right? It's definitely one of the two. What do we think? Funny or depressing?
It's a bit of both. It's fair. Uh, I think I'm just supposed to alt this, and I'm gonna do like Noble Thalia versus. It's like dealer's choice. Do you want to play more spells this game or not? And you know, and you know what the depressing part is? Like, I have a degree in mathematics, right? So they actually pay people for math positions better than they pay people in some other positions in a lot of teaching spots. Like, like I get more than people that adjunct as English and like history professors, which is which is depressing because like less than what I make. Uh, Thal Thalia or Liliana Ultimate Burgle. Huh, what am I actually killing here? Is it just the Thalia? This can get bigger. What am I actually killing here? I don't actually know the answer to this question. I could go either way on the Thalia or the Champion of the Parish. I guess I could just kill the Noble. And then, like, the, the Champion can't attack, actually. Yeah, actually, I think it's just the Noble, right? I'm glad I stopped and thought about it, because my gut was definitely wrong. Twitch chat says kill the mana, right? Oh, that drew a mana. I'm so unlucky. Let's go out, Justin. Ooh, ooh, found a piece of candy. tasty that's that's a good one so hopefully they attack with both of these and i get to snap fatal push the thalia and then trade with the champion of the parish or they're just not gonna attack because i have a celestial colonnade Here's to teaching us proper shilling techniques and stacks. Cheers, Jeff. Thanks, Unbanned Twin. Welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. All right, I'm going to flash this in. Fatal Push Thalia here. That way I can start attacking with my Celestial Colonnade. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Snapcaster back for now in case they draw a human. I probably should have played that and fetched. They can Mantis Rider me now. It's kind of scary. I did Lily alt their lands. Don't you hate when your opponent tries to sun lands your voice of resurgence? Yup. Uh, I remember that at that open. I felt bad for that guy. He was really nervous. And just like messed up a couple of times, a couple different little things. I think he might have been new to his deck too, potentially. I don't know. Nice guy, though. Nice opponent. Hey, D. Brian, with that nine-month resubscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. That Dawsium decks were sweet. I really like them. The deck feels powerful. Uh, the second Ad Nauseam video won't go up until tomorrow because I need to do some post-processing on it, but... Uh, am I supposed to be attacking here? I think I am right. I just need to kill them. I just need to actually close the door here. If I attack like this... They probably trade here, so that's bad. I'm just going to put them to five. Is the stream decker messed up? Dream Decker might be foobard right now. I'm 
There's the deck link for those wondering. Yeah, I think their their site might be having some load issues. Oh, they have cards in their hand. Yeah, I should have inquisitioned them. Sorry, it's it's late. I don't. <laughs> These seven hour stints at the end of the day might be might be too long. I definitely missed that they had cards in their hand there, and ten out of ten should have inquisitioned them. I think I have to pump my brakes now. I think I have to pump my brakes now. We really just need to draw a spell or two. I want to hold some of these lands so that way I can brainstorm because we have two Jaces in our deck. That's really bad for us because it means that this Champion of the Parish can attack into my Celestial Colonnade. A good rule of thumb to burn an 8 ticket. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Altered State. I'm definitely not thought seizing. Assemble the Legion. Man, that card was fucking a beast in Stater when it was legal. That was like, I remember blue white deck splashing that to win the mirror. God, we're going to lose this game, aren't we? We need, like, Jace into three removal spells on the Brainstorm. <sighs> Remember when we chose not to kill this Champion of the Parish and we killed the Noble Hierarch instead? Pepperidge Farm remembers... <sighs> yeah, something like search for Azkanta earlier to really start building card advantage. We well, have a lot of tools for an aggressive deck on our sideboard. Jace is pretty medium. These Lilianas are actually pretty bad, right? These discard spells are pretty medium. Maybe I want some of the Planeswalkers over these one mana discard spells. Leave two and two in. That seems fine. Uh, we had there's filter lands in M twenty five, right? It seems okay. It's got cantrip into brutality into Liliana potentially. Just like curve out nice and nice and swell in the play. And this deck's not doing anything flashy, that's for sure. This deck is kind of just like everything people want to be really good in modern. Just like fair, fair interactive Esper Mush cards. Honestly, this matchup's probably not that bad for us. We've got a lot we definitely have the tools we need to win this style of matchup. Mentor seems great. Search for tomorrow seems slow. If they don't have a Reflector Mage. The Mentor should take over the game very quickly. Yeah, Wizards of the Coast pretty consistently doesn't put enough good cards in the reprint sets. Because remember, Wizards of the Coast's ultimate goal isn't to make Modern affordable. If Modern is really affordable, then people won't play Standard. And Standard is Wizards of the Coast's premier format. So don't, don't forget that. Their, their primary goal is for you to play standard. That is that is what they want. I am just going to use this to gain some health here. Hey, Ian Levers with that Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think uh, just getting that Collective Brutality in as a removal spell while they're getting as good as reasonable. 
I'm probably not going to have enough time to like play all these lingering souls anyways if their hand's aggressive, so I want to just buffer my health total a small bit. Hopefully this Monastery Mentor can come down and take over the game. We don't have removal for her. We'll get to go Fatal Push plus Path next turn and make some tokens. But standard sucks. I'm told this current standard format is very reasonable, but I just I just don't have time to invest in another standard. Like modern is so sweet right now that I just don't don't really want to get involved with something new. I don't know. Maybe maybe if their standard format like continues to blow dick for another season, they'll realize that they can make money selling selling modern cards and we'll get more modern product. The only thing I know about Standard right now is I know Matt is really excited to play Standard in Milwaukee. I mean, I think a lot of people probably don't know whether or not Standard sucks right now, but um, like st we've had such this lo this such long string of really bad Standard formats that I understand people being apprehensive of, about being willing to get invested and spend time and energy learning Standard when it could just end up being bad again. Because remember, like, learning a standard format is a lot like learning a new modern deck. It takes a lot of energy to do. Why do you think modern has been the main focus these last couple of months? I mean, we just got a new set. There's only been one standard event. Even the PT was modern. Is it because they want to hype up the... I Well, the, the modern PT have been planned for a long time. I think everything else hyping modern has to do with the fact that standard had just been so bad for so long. Like you know, um, like Star City Games, for instance, them moving all of their stuff from Standard to Modern just because they need people to show up to their tournaments. Like, if no one shows up to a Grand Prix, Wizards of the Coast doesn't really take a bath. Um, if no one shows up to an Open, Star City Games still had to put out all that prize money. This is an awkward timing, time, awkwardly timed Reflector Mage. Mentor, Mentor is very, very powerful. Anytime Mentor goes unchecked, it, it takes over the game very quickly. It's like a young pyromancer on steroids, basically, right? We came here to Dirtle, not make a lot of tokens. Yeah, and hopefully with the play design team, like when rotation finally happens in the fall, they're going to be able to swing that pendulum finally back around to make the format no longer be all about the insane threats and actually have some play and counterplay to it. But like playing against cards like Hazard and Scarab God does not seem interesting. Like I played against Bristling Hydro a bunch and I think that card made standard pretty miserable. Like when your opponent has powerful threats that you don't have tools to interact with, it doesn't make fun gameplay in my opinion. All right, so what am I supposed to do here? So this is a blue-black. I think I'm just fetching Godless Shrine and pushing this off a cliff. I think that's what I want to do here. Just use my mana, keep their board clear. Both got banned. Yep. Yep. I mean, is that true, Manny? Vraska's Contempt is like a must-play and everything, right? <laughs> Burgle, you just... You need... You, <laughs> you need to go back and watch the clip of the end of game two. You'll... Or maybe you shouldn't. You probably won't let me live it down. You just... M huge, very large mistakes were made. Very, very large mistakes were made. This is pretty good for us. They're Phantasm Lemons going to copy a Noble Hierarch now. I don't know if anyone clipped it. It was embarrassing to say the least.
That's fine. We'll kill that with Collective Brutality. It lands pretty good. Zap that one. We're going to go down to 11. We're going to go down to 10. If they play another non-Thalia creature next turn, we can Damnation to clean the board out. Snap, path our own snap. No, I think that's a little aggressive. I think with the Collective Brutality in hand, we're fine. Uh, did I have three mana up? Yeah, I think you're right that I had three mana up. I definitely should have done that, yeah. Definitely should have done that. Definitely missed activating the field of green. You are 10 out of 10 correct. I might not have another chance to do it, if we're being honest. That's gross. That's gross. Collective Brutality, Engineer Explosives, Chase the Mind Sculptor. Uh, yeah, these are all great, actually, right? Thank God we could Jace them. Look, I have a bunch of sweepers in my hand, Burgle. You need to calm down. The Jace is fine. Yeah, yeah, 10 out of 10, gonna snap path the Necro. This is a good attack on their part because they know I probably want to kill the Necromancer anyways. So my Snapcaster Mage is going to chump block this. As a gain four. And then we'll path the Necro. You want to make this deck sweet? Ponder. Yeah, ain't that the truth? And now I get to play this Engineered Explosives and blow it up, which feels good. We have two cards left. Mantis Rider is the one that would suck for us the most. Anything other than that, we're kind of in an okay spot. Land go deal. All right, let's uh, do a spot check for Mantis Rider. Nope, keep that one. Because I knew I was going to blow it inside of combat meta moods, so I wanted to... Um, I knew I was blowing it inside of combat, so I might as well do, do it right away. We're sculpting their minds. <laughs> Um, I'm just like throwing these back on top of my deck. It doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, I guess I'm shuffling, right? Yeah, I'm gonna throw those back still and shuffle, I think. <clears throat> this is the part of game where like our opponent's still playing magic for some reason, but you know, the game, the game is over. Sure. You've collected my sins. These are my cards. Maybe I should have hit this. Nah, I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. I'm going to kill their cavern of souls. Kill their cavern of souls and shuffle up. Took settle the wreckage. Okay. If they play another threat here, maybe I don't. Yeah, you're you're always feel free to post links in chat. That goes for non-subs too. Links are enabled, just so you know, don't post porn. That's pretty good. That's excellent, right? I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back, throw this back, 
I'm gonna play this, crack it, go mentor, cast serum visions. Maybe this is silly. I should just get my lingering souls down so I don't accidentally lose to like running mantis riders. Bottom top. If I avoid dying to mantis rider, we probably win the game. Yeah, it's probably fine, Nikki. Those are not mantis that make a. Let's see those. Those those colors do not cast mantis rider. Why aren't we still playing magic? I wonder if they stacked both decks, if my opponent could win this game. What do you think, Jet? If our opponent started stacking both players' decks, could they win? Probably not, because they couldn't stack enough bad cards on top of our deck for Jace to not get through. Because you just get to call a judge on them. Oh no, please don't reflect or mage my monastery mentor. How will I ever win the game after that? Ah, I should have kept that Lingering Souls right. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of have a build their own adventure book to victory here. We cast a spell with Mentor in play. We won the game. Why, why would I plus my Jace when I can... I don't understand. Do you not understand that drawing cards means you win the game too? Why would I why would I do something that's not drawing cards? That seems silly. Oh, you know what? I should have just like escalated this, right? Just like killed this and like drained them and then it would have prowessed all of these. Yeah, GG's opponent. I think I punted the first game that we lost in that set. Like I said, matches like that are probably pretty good for this deck. We definitely have the tools. We have the sweepers and the spot removal, and they don't have a lot of ways to interact with our mentors once they get on the table. Uh, at any rate, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that's still hanging out here tonight, our last league of the evening. Uh, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I am a streamer and content producer. I stream Magic full-time here on Twitch. Uh, if you're enjoying what you see and want to produce more of this content, please consider subscribing. Subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. would love to buy and sell some Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Uh, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, bags, all sorts of sweet stuff there. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the wide range of custom artwork that they have on their website. And finally, this stream is made possible by viewers like Anironix and you. Anironix would like to remind you to hit that follow button if you enjoy what you're seeing. gives you notifications on when I go live and with what. I stream in afternoons, mornings, evenings. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter as well, you can also kind of get a preview of when I'm going to be streaming ahead of time and what deck lists I'm planning to play on a given day. Yeah, I am. I am doing my best to not be loud because... Christy, where Christy is sleeping, is like right, right up back there on the next floor. So I can't keep this in the dark, right? It just like has no interaction. My sand is much better. My sand is much better. Much, 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 much better. Um, yeah, I can probably keep that. I have a, I have a serum visions to find. Find another land, hopefully. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Eh. Oh no. Oh. 
All right, so we have two two important decisions. Do we figure out which card to take with our Inquisition of Kozilek, or do we right-click and concede? There's just, like, no way this can ever be burn, right? What are, what are our odds against burn? We have a timely reinforcements and a, a single a second collective brutality and just a, a giant pile of clunk give mono creatures that die to searing blaze all right we're gonna play game one and if we get smoked game one i don't know that we're gonna play the whole match this is about to be very bad for us. Oh, we do have a Blessed Alliance, too. So we have one, two, three sideboard cards and a bunch of crossed fingers. I take great joy in killing you. Matthew, you've played against decks like this. Do people that play decks like this ever play quickly? Come on now. You're not, you're not new. Thoughts using this idol on here in a second. They could brick and die. You must be new here. Fatal push is great. I guess fatal push is just kind of okay. And again, the problem isn't disrupting the burn deck. The problem is that the burn deck, we don't have a clock to kill the burn deck. Like, it's not about, like, like, we've t interacted with their cards two times, but, like, they're just going to run us out of the game and have tons of time to draw more spells. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to snap Inquisition and gain three here. Because this is, like, the last turn I can gain three with the snap Inquisition, probably. And then the Snapcaster Mage is going to chump block this Monastery Swiss Spear. All right, they have all lands in hand. Maybe they'll continue drawing lands. I'm just snapping a block here. This is 10 out of 10 worth of gain too. More trading, either one. Hopefully they just draw lands and spells, or lands and creatures, sorry. That's not even good, right? I just like need to find a threat. Nah, goblin guides into spears we can beat from here. Yep. We're just we're just super dead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, let's just, let's just hop along to the next one. Let's just hop along to the next one. Thunder Maw, Hellkite, and Torrential Gearhulk. Believe it or not, those cards are a little bit slow against Burn. Those cards are a teensy, teensy bit slow against Burn. Just a little, little tiny bit slow against Burn. Yes, what Burgle said. At the, at the very least, put a bunch of brutalities in your deck. A stupid window resize thing. I mean, yep, the sand is great. I fetch a basic swamp and thought sees them here. They brought flamethrowers, we brought cigarettes, they lit us up. Oh, sweet. Burgle, Burgle, look it, we found someone else that wants to dirtle. Dirtle for the dirtle gods. Oh, baby, get to put my search for ass canton on the table. Do, 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 do. 
Can't they just cake mad the Jace back? Android with the lines. Abyssal Persecutor. Um, seems narrow and clunky. Can, couldn't... Like, if you want an effect like that, like, Abyssal Persecutor has to be worse than Desecration Demon, right? I'm going to bin this Thought Seize for now. Um, I'm actually just going to Field of Rune them here, and then, and then Inquisition. Although I guess they could K-Command me in response if I do that. Yeah. I can just change phases here. Oh, they didn't float mana? Deal. You played against the green, black, super meme, get rog deck. I've not I've not played with, with it. We played against it a little bit. I don't know. It seems like a classic Todd Stevens can't beat combo, but Dumpsters, the fair mid-range decks. Alrighty. Their hand is a little fatal, but uh, those cards are not going to line up well against our Lingering Souls here. How'd the Jun Shadow deck do? Kind of miserably. It'll be available on YouTube after we finish our stream tonight. We've got uh, this match and potentially one more in this league. resolves so I actually just started activating my search for Ascanta right this flips over I guess they have field of rune that's fine if they want to field of rune me next turn I still get one activation off of this yeah they have field of rune and a bunch of snapcasters in their hand or sorry, a field of rune and a bunch of fatal pushes. Nah, I think I just want to force them to field of rune me. I think that's fine. I think I want to just like get an activation of it, right? Like I get to draw a card. I think like drawing a card here is worth is worth more than just like randomly filtering stuff. Yeah, see like they drew a Jace. Ho ho ho. Jace my own. Hopefully Jace finds us a another land here that's untapped, and then we get to flashback our lingering souls. I mean like your your ten or twenty percent matchups or whatever are ten or twenty percent, not zero percent. Like anything's anything's winnable if you if you run run a little bit hot, right? It's possible there's merit to plussing our Jace because they're a lightning bolt deck, but they might not have that many bolts with all those fatal pushes in their hand. This <laughs> actually magic is well, I think it's hard to call this magic as Garfield intended it, Burgle, because Garfield didn't want planeswalkers to exist, right? Oh, Jesus would have come down, turned one off a Lotus. All right, all right. Old fat man's going to sit down for the last part of the stream. Oh, oh right. I should have put one of these Lilianas on top of my deck, assuming that they were going to shuffle me. Keeping the second one's probably a little loose. Is this game over? I feel... I feel like I can't win the game. They get the Fatal Push, my other spirit here too. 
I probably should have... I probably should have kept the Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, I probably should have kept the Celestial Colonnade. They suspended Ancestral Vision. Lordy. Um... I'll keep that because it defends the Liana, I guess. When I get into modern, my favorite deck ever was your white black control, the one of four seeker of the way is the only creature. And I came across this deck yesterday. It reminds me. I'll make sure I'm not wasting my money. I think that is a reasonable collection of magic cards. I think it has tools to be competitive in most matches in modern. You're going to be a very big dog to Tron, but most of these mid-range interactive decks are a dog to Tron. What isn't bad against Tron? Ad nauseum. We dumpstered. If you want to watch Tron lose, you should watch you should watch our ad nauseum leagues. You should watch our Jeskai Ascendancy combo leagues. Yeah, burn. The All of the decks that aren't sweet and interactive have good good matches against Tron. All of the decks just having having good all the decks trying to play good honest magic, they're just gonna they're just gonna lose to the Karn Father. Yep. All the decks that don't have a ton of ton of small decisions. They don't have another field of rune here. Our search for Azkanta might be able to keep up with their Jace. A Liliana of their own, okay. Edict me. Okay. Pfft, suspend another ancestral vision. <sighs> um, I actually want the Celestial Colonnade. I want to transform this. Let's activate this now. Lingering Souls is quite good. Keep pushing my Liliana up here. This doesn't come off for three turns, so depending on like what their Jace finds, this Liliana might ultimate and take this game back from them before this, before these AVs happen. The Celestial Colonnade can pressure their Planeswalkers as well, which is nice. I don't know. I actually don't feel like we're in that terrible of a spot right now. Feels like the game game's kind of close. Like they have these AVs looming, but like we both have planeswalkers going. I have I have, yeah like I have these lingering souls. I have the celestial colony that's gonna pressure their stuff. Like they need to answer these spirits and they need to answer this colony. We're gonna like ship all of it into Jace next turn. For fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Seriously, did th this? You inbred motherfucker. <laughs> we were so close, chat. We were so close. We were so close. I thought we were winning. I thought we were winning. Oh, God. Thought. <laughs> uh... Is this a mox list? All right, Jace is at one. 
Liliana's going to six. Unfortunately, she's going to take hits from these things. I get to activate my Azcanta here. For those that don't understand what inbreeding means in the context of a TCG, it means when formats get really focused on um, on a specific archetype, people keep trying to go slightly bigger and slightly bigger and slightly bigger than those archetypes. So like this deck that we're playing is like trying to focus on being like more grindy and value oriented than like a Jun deck. And like our opponent's deck is just even more inbred than ours. Like it's just going even harder with like visions and dire fleet daredevils and jaces just like even even more over the top than what we are I, yeah i i was hoping you got it two power but I, I felt like i needed to explain it for the context of people that might not be familiar i thought they <sighs> the worst part is I can't activate this as Kanta yet, so I can't just auto pass here. The good news is our opponent's down three minutes on their clock, so like if all of these games take this long, I can just time them out. Look, I really wanted to flash back those lingering souls. <laughs> you could have memed, but she wanted to play Esper Concede. Maybe. God, are both the cards in their hand going to be good? And they're not going to push this Liliana up? I really just want to take this Jace off the table before these AVs happen. Oh, a stream decker back. Advertisements. Gotta live that Twitch Prime life, man. spirit token that's true they are just gonna play another one this is so wrong I've activated as to like five times I'm not winning this game this is so wrong Man, you already have Amazon Prime? Gotta get on that. Gotta get on it. That's pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna go bottom, top here. Spot check and see if this colonnade's gonna be able to get in here. The SCG, the SCG ads have just been so bad lately. There's so many of them. Colonnades, man, that's really rude, opponent. Joke's on you, my last card is Lingering Souls. Uh, 
Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get ad-free Twitch, and you also get a free subscription to a Twitch channel of your choice. So if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you can get a free sub to my channel or another Twitch streamer's channel that you enjoy. It doesn't cost you anything. It's included with what you already pay for for your Amazon Prime. So I targeted their Fatal Push here. This line's really good from the opponent. It means I can't um, it means I can't swing the Celestial Colonnade into what they're doing. I think I just want to Edict them here. Hey, just like that, Bloodwind Gaming. Thank you for the Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. I know there's a Serum Visions on top of my deck, so we'll at least grab that. Fatal Push and a Collective Brutality. Yeah, we'll just grab Visions. Can flashback this Lingering Souls here. Jace into Liliana. Yep, I mean, those are the types of cards we're going to need to win this game, right? We are up f four and a half minutes now, which is nice. I get to Fatal Push one of my tokens here. They're drawing four cards this turn. <laughs> they get to see seven cards this turn, and they get to see seven cards next turn. Good lord. No, because the Fatal Push keeps Flash back until end of turn, D Brian. It's not like Torrential Gear Hulk where you have to cast the spell immediately. Kind of Burgle. It takes us more resources to use the Azcanta, though. So, like, using the Azcanta ties up my resources, whereas, like, the Jace doesn't tie up their resources. God, it's so miserable that you can't choose to not shuffle with Field. Because they're going to Field me here, and it's going to fucking shuffle away that Jace off the top of my deck. That's really frustrating. Super unfortunate for us. So this this search is not optional. I have to search my deck here. I have to shuffle that chase away. And deck them. I could that could be a real option. Just run them out of threats. I'm at 12 though. I guess maybe I should take a fatal push. Take this stupid dire fleet daredevil off the table. Why is it at first strike? It's gonna be like Liliana take my card away. It could be Liliana take my spirit away. All right. So like some things that I need here. Cast the Serum Visions. <sighs> All right. I just need to try and run this in here. Why do people play Colony over Creeping Tarpit? Well, it's better against Red Removal. It also has a slightly better damage output on occasion. Maybe I'm supposed to hold this fatal push until they attack. Alright, I killed their Jace, so they only get to see four more cards this turn instead of seven more cards. They're down to 24 cards in their deck, so maybe, maybe decking them as an option? I don't know, timing them out is feeling like a, a better option than anything. I'm glad we have a buck ton of basics in our deck. Opponent is now down six minutes on clock. Maybe I should have kept that fatal push since they had creeping tarpit in play. This is game one. This is in fact game one. They have twelve and a half minutes. I feel like I feel like I should have. I should have kept the Fatal Push to kill this Creeping Tarpit. Main deck negate. Yep, sounds right. 
Get them to pull the trigger on this Field of Ruin to shuffle those removal spells back into my deck. Get my land. Do they have six basic? They do not. Well, making the chat smaller doesn't make the magic cards bigger. Like if I take if I take this and make this wider, the magic cards stay pretty much the same size. Also, the chat isn't on screen for you people that are currently watching the stream. The chat is on screen for people that watch it on YouTube in the future or people who are watching it on um, on Chromecast or a device that doesn't have a chat option up right next to it. So believe it or not, Wacky Mole, there's more than just you in the world. And there are other people who having the chat on screen like that for them makes the content uh, more consumable and more watchable. All right, that that was something. We don't really have cards for the control mirror in our board, do we? I have no viable proof that any of you exist. Yeah, it's on mobile as well. I agree, people on mobile. Got him. Just with a hush, they were gone. Question about sideboarding. When you build a sideboard, are you looking to adjust your sideboard or do you try and hedge your 50 50 matchups or cards for your 90 10 matchups? You should build your sideboard when you build the rest of your deck. Um. You should, you should build, I actually have a YouTube video. You shouldn't, you shouldn't build, you shouldn't build your main deck and then build your sideboard afterwards as an afterthought. You should build your sideboard as part of building the rest of your deck. You should figure out how many cards you have to cut from your deck for given matchups and then figure out how many cards you need in your sideboard for those. You don't just look at your main deck and go, I have a bad burn matchup, so I want six cards for burn. You need to look at your deck and go, how many bad cards, how many bad cards do I have in my deck against burn? That's how many sideboard slots I need for burn. Is this a finish this league tomorrow match, or do you just never do that? No, I always I always try to put the leagues through in one sitting. Makes the videos more cohesive. Let's me get them on YouTube right away. Although it's looking like this league's going to be about done. I guess this hand's pretty good. I really only watch for the chat, not the gameplay, so if you could just replicate the chat column four more times, I think. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Ayo. We need to see a deck list. Oh, it's just, just their ass canter, right? Hopefully they board out a lot of the removal and these monastery mentors can come down and steal the game. That would be ideal. Yeah, yeah, exactly, DJ Jedi Jeff. You wanna, this is a long stream. Uh, yeah, we've been going for a while today. It's kind of nice when you get going to, when you get rolling, just kind of roll, roll right on through. Firewalker or Forge Tender? I think if your deck doesn't have red spells in it, you're probably better off playing Forge Tender a lot of the time. Firewalker's good if you can actually use it to gain health, but if Firewalker's just stemming the bleeding of the spells that they're casting, I don't think it's super, it's that effective. I think uh, Chrome OS is great. I think if you're someone who predominantly uses the computer as a web browser anyways, which a lot of people that use the computer, that's all they do in it. it they're, they're quite excellent. 
I actually used a Chromebook as um, my primary computer for part of grad school when my, my regular laptop broke and I didn't have money to get a better one right away. And if you're if you're kind of a geeky or not afraid of, of tech stuff, you can actually run run full Linux applications on a Chromebook. Most Chromebooks, you can run a Linux operating system in a sandbox. So if you need a couple of regular desktop applications past Google Chrome, that's actually possible, which is nice. All right, I'm a fed shock, and I'm gonna start jamming monastery mentors down their throat. I don't allow my family to own non Chromebook computers. Yep. I mean, their their computer is just a Facebook machine, right? Their computer is just a Facebook machine is basically what it comes down to. So why why give them a Facebook machine that's complicated? Just give them a Facebook machine that's only Facebook. All right, if they kill this mentor, I'm going to bed. And by going to bed, I mean signing off and publishing YouTube videos and stuff, but this mentor dies, we can't steal this game anymore. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're if you're going to buy one with the goal of running some regular desktop applications on it, Gabriel Pants, you're going to want to uh, make sure you get an x86. So some Chromebooks are ARM devices. You want to make sure you get one with a desktop processor in it. All right. Um, well, and, and Chrome OS is literally just Arc Linux with Google's Chrome and stuff thrown over the top of it for reference. Um, Esper. People love fucking Esper. I don't, I don't, un this is why we don't play Esper. Thanks for the bits. Um, and we're going to wrap up here real quick. Thanks for going to stuck through to the end tonight. Um, I, these decks, they just, they don't have a Tarmogoyf. They don't have a young Pyromancer. There isn't an Esper colored two drop that you can really apply pressure with and run away with the game. Um, to top that off, the, the decks like this are pretty weak to Blood Moon. Although I guess this one has a good number of basics in it, but there's still going to be a bunch of games where this deck just like doesn't get to play Magic against a Blood Moon. Um, yeah, like you have the Disruption... And I feel like people look at decks like this and they go, oh, I have the good cards, you need to be combo decks. But they're just so not aware of the fact that, like, just the lack of a clock in these decks really just makes you such a huge dog to those combo decks. And even, like, I feel like that last match is a perfect example. Like, even if you're playing this deck as, like, a metagame choice to try and prey on other fair decks, there's always that one motherfucker out there who just, like, wants it way more than you do even. And they're they're gonna go over the top of whatever you send their way, and just this this is pretty grindy. We've got Jace, we've got Lingering Souls, we got Search for Azkanta. We just got outground in the last match. Stoneforge Mystic, yeah, yeah. Stoneforge Mystic is the type of card that could push this type of archetype over the top. It would give it that that quality must answer two drop threat that threatens to take over the game when you when you stick it down. It's going to flash back your lingering souls, right? <laughs> uh, all right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out through the long stream today. If you didn't catch everything we did earlier, I'm going to format and publish a couple of videos on YouTube lot, uh, right now. And then I'm going to respond to Facebook messages and stuff. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're going to have a Pauper Day. So if you're someone who loves Pauper, if you're someone who's interested in checking out Pauper, I've got a few different decks in the in the donation queue for that and uh we're gonna do that tomorrow starting about uh, 3 p.m central standard time uh, at any rate thank you everyone for watching i really appreciate it and big shout out as always to my subs and resubs y'all are the reason i'm able to do what i do as often as i do it so uh, catch y'all tomorrow